Hi, I'm Ajangalala, and welcome to another one of my Creative World creations. Today, we're going to be looking at how to combine command blocks in a couple of different ways. So let's get started. We're going to be using the set block and fill commands to change these blocks because those are pretty easy commands and uh, will change things in an obvious way. We're going to get started with uh, chaining because that is built right into the UI. First, place a command block down and following the direction of the arrow on top, place another one facing the same direction. Now this second one, change it to chain, conditional, and always active. place a button on the first block. So you only have to activate the first one and the second one will be activated as well as long as the first one is successfully triggered. Um, meaning the command that is here is carried out correctly with no errors. So this here is the location of the lower block, and I'm going to change it to an iron block. I'm going to change this to be the top block. I'm going to change that to be azalea leaves. So the set block command just works with the command set block the coordinate because it only changes one block, it only needs one coordinate, and then what you're changing it to. Pretty basic. Now push the button and it's done. Well now I can push the button as many more times as I want and it's not going to do anything unless I change this back to something else and then I can do it again. So what if I want it to be able to go back and forth in a switching manner? Something that um, would happen with a lever but can also happen when the button pops back up. Well that's something else that you can commonly do with command blocks. We'll do that over here with the fill command. So plop down one block, dig down and plop down another, and crouch down and put a red torch there. Then I'm going to put a button here. Now we're going to use the fill command, which is very similar to the set block command, but because it changes multiple blocks at once, it uses two coordinates instead of one. So I'm going to change this to fill and add the top coordinate. And I'm going to have this be glass. Well, actually, first I'm going to copy this. And this is glass. Now I don't have to change anything over here on the left. I just have to have this change it to something different as the final uh, final thing here. Now when I press the button it changes to grass and when the button pops is up pops up it changes to grass. So glass grass glass, grass. You can also do this, as I mentioned, with a lever, glass, grass. So there you have it. Two different ways to combine command blocks. I hope you enjoyed that and maybe I'll see you next time.